I give the questions, you give all the answers. Deal? <laughs> when you graduate from college, you get to give all the questions. And you can pick on somebody to give all the answers, okay? Multiplication. Any significant number on the outside multiplied times any top number, the answer is directly below. So let's test it. 6 times 3 is? 18. 8 times 3 is? 8 times 6 is? 7 times 4 is? Okay, that's your multiplication. Division wow. is just the reverse of that. 28 divided by 4 is? Or 28 divided by 7 is? Okay. Oh my God. Um, you understand division? You with me on division? Yeah. Halfway? Okay. I do division. Yeah. Fractions, all the fractions in each row are equivalent to one another, which means they are equal. So if you had a pizza and you divided it into six pieces and you got one, that's the same as dividing it into 12 pieces and you get two of them. So those are all equivalent, equal fractions. And the first fraction is the lowest terms. Uh, multiples, you know your multiples of five, right? Five, ten. Okay, give me the multiples of eight. Eight. Sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two, forty, forty-eight, twenty-six, sixty-four. Okay. And then your squares and square roots are found at the very end. And I, when I introduce squares and square roots, the exponent, I always tell my boys and girls, as soon as you see that power, put a line through it, because it is not a two. And that'll stop you from multiplying two times three. Because uh -huh. it's a little power that says use your base number two times. Three times three times three. So three squared is nine. Four squared? Sixteen. Five squared. Twenty-five. And then the square root of that is just the opposite. Square root of sixteen is four. Square root of twenty-five is five. And I know the square root, it literally means a square divided into 25 pieces, five at the top and five at the bottom. That's amazing. Yeah. It, it sounds so simple. It is simple. 